Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. What the? Oh, this one! I remember this one! Finch! Yeah! Right, the bird brain. But I work really, really hard. Wait, what am I supposed to be working on? Another shield hammer on Morak. Which is not what I was hoping for. On the other hand, it is a wind element. And right now, or at least until now, Rex is the only person who had any Wind Element Blades. Rare Blades, that is. This finally helps to close that gap. So that's a good thing. On the other hand, there's another Wind Element Blade I was really hoping to get onto Morag, and that blade didn't show up. That's a shame. Yeah. Cassandra, you've had a good run, but someone else's turn. A fine choice, good sir. Right then. How are we doing on this? Uh, all right. Well, I'll be back in just another minute or two, viewers. Bear with me, please. And hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. We're here in Tantal where we left off last time. But between episodes, I actually did a whole lot of off-screening. I did a ton of salvaging and a lot of buying and selling. And I spread it out around the world so that every place is at least dev level 3 now. Etheria, Tantal, Indal, Morardain, Uriah, and Argentum are all level 3. And Gormont, of course, as you might recall from a previous episode, has already reached maximum level, dev level 5. And so as I showed you before, I've been purchasing expensive stuff from Gormont and reselling it elsewhere. And I've been financing this uh, purchase spree with... Uh, salvaging. So, yeah, I've been pretty busy. And, of course, you also saw that I did a whole bunch of... You saw the tail end of the whole bunch of core crystal cracking that I did when I got Finch. So, Finch, I don't know too much about her. She's a shield hammer, wind element, obviously. And I've given her a good core chip. As you can see down at the bottom right there, decent auto attack, pretty good block rate. Pretty much what you need from a shield hammer. And her affinity chart, yeah, it's brand new, so there's not much here. And looks like it goes entirely with trust, at least for the key affinities. Let's see if there's anything in here about her blade quest. Let's see. Okay, here's something about her heart-to-heart -heart on the Titan battleship in Gormod. Huh, that's an interesting place for it. 
Ah, there we go. Her blade quest. That's how I get level three of her field skill bird brain. The power to instantly forget anything. Skill exclusive to Finch. I don't think that's so much a power as it is a handicap, but... Well, um... Video game developers are sometimes eccentric people, so... Who am I to... Argue. She also has leaping. And entomology. Huh. On the one hand, that's kind of an eclectic... Group of... Uh, field skills, but on the other hand, it kind of makes sense for someone who's very clearly bird themed. Entomology, because birds are more often than not insect eaters. And leaping, because hey, birds fly, right? And then bird brain, that one's just obvious. <laughs> Although a lot of birds are incredibly intelligent, you know, for wild animals. So I don't think that's really fair. But, eh. Uh, no sense worrying about it. So I still have my uh, current active party of Rex, Morag, and Nia. I've adjusted my blade setup slightly. Rex has uh, Azami and Agate for his other two blades. Morag has Finch and Corvin. Nia has Vess and Ursula. And this setup covers all the elements. Uh, all eight elements represented. So, I'm thinking that this quest, this uh, episode is going to advance the main quest because I'm getting about to the point where there's not much left that I want to do. But before I do that, there's something in Argentum to take a look at. Phew. That was a slog. Let us go. And once I've taken a look at it. Okay, Max. Hey there, looking to transfer some cash? Of course, given how tough you guys are, it might be easy for you to just deliver the cash in person. <laughs> he has a point there. I mean, we can skip travel straight to Letheria. But hey, I guess I can see how that might feel awkward sometimes. Yeah, I mean, going up to family and dumping a load of cash on them can feel kind of awkward. And anyway, yeah, we're giving you work, so can't complain. Alright, let's just send another 90G. 90,000G. Oh, that's quite the sum. Don't worry, we only assign the best couriers to big transfers like this. We'll see if he gets there safe. And now if we talk to him again... Hey there, looking to transfer some cash? Ah, uh, but listen, you've already sent over 90,000 G lately, and that's on top of the 90,000 from that big job. Hmm. He, uh, I expected him to say something else, but... At this point, I think... Yeah, I could be mistaken, but let's go to Lithuria and see if we can talk to Corinne. Whew. Let's rest a spell. Let's get going! Hey there, Auntie Corinne. How's tricks? Oh, I almost forgot. Pyra asked me to teach her how to make the village specialty for when you're on the road. Here, I've written down the exact amount so you can cook up a quick meal whenever you need. That's not what I was expecting. Okay, um... Well... Hey, where'd she go? <laughs> anyway... I just thought of a great menu idea. Look forward to that later. Uh, right, this. Hmm. I wonder, how much do I have to do to fill in her affinity chart? I'm still 
still on level one. Okay. Wow, I haven't been doing much of any cooking. I mean, that's not too surprising. It's not exactly something that enters my mind very often with this game. Okay, let's actually see if I can crank some of those out. I just thought of a great menu idea. Look forward to that later. Okay, I can do tons of glitter bake. Well, I can do five of them at least. I can do a few sunshine pies. I'm, I'm kind of low on the moonbeam bananas, though. And fried tartari, low on the mooka flour. Now that's a shame. I understand that Rex actually has this as one of his favorite items. Let's make one. And, I don't know, a few of these. And I can only make one of these. How many is that now? I think I think that was five items, so I should be up to eight. Yeah. Two more. And I get her to level two. Am I correct that Rex really likes this? Pan fried tartari. Gramps and I love this stuff. Yeah, he sure does. Okay. I just thought of a great menu idea. Look forward to that later. Let's see. I need two more items. What are, what's a good convenient thing? Well, let's just make more of this. Alright, cooking level two. My mastery increases. Okay, so now we're at level two. We need to make 40 more items to get up to level three. And In my opinion, the items that you get by doing this are not worth the trouble. You know, they're pouch items, and they don't have all that great effects, in my opinion. But if you want to increase, if you want to complete Pyra's affinity chart, then you've got to do it. I just thought of a great it. menu idea. Look forward to that later. And the neat thing is, once you've reached level two, cooking something gives you two of those items instead of just one. You can see in the bottom left there, hot moonbeam salad times two. So now if I do this twice more, I can do this twice more, and if I do, then I will uh, have four items instead of two. So I just made six items. So I just made ten more items. Even though I did only five on the menu there. So I'm already up to twenty. If I do fifteen more things, then I'll get up to fifty. And that'll be that for cooking. I'm out of stuff to make though. I just thought of a great menu idea. Look forward to that later. So I can't make anything more. I don't have the ingredients. But hey, I made a good... Uh, you know, I, I took out a good chunk of the requirements there. Alright, so let's go back to Mithra, because we like to have her out in front. Oop. There we go. Alright, where did Corinne go? I wanted to talk to her again. There she is. 
Back from Indol, aren't you? What was it like there? I hope they treat children well, if nothing else. Is something wrong? The boys are dead set on going to the academy, but we don't know what to expect, so it worries me a little. Oh, I see. I just hope they manage to fit in with the other kids, really. Hmm. So there is a side quest with Corinne here, but I guess we can't do it yet. Evening is upon us, it seems. Fatigue is a silent killer. We had better rest soon. All right, well. I guess that one has to wait. Okay. Well, there's a few other things we can do, but honestly, I'm getting to the point where I just want to continue the main quest. And with that in mind, viewers, I do have a small announcement here. After this episode, I am going to put the series on hiatus for a bit. Phew. That was a slog. Let us go. Because if you follow my channel, then you know that I recently started a playthrough of Sonic Frontiers. And I want to focus on that one. So, yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is going to go on hiatus until I'm finished with Sonic Frontiers. And maybe one or two other titles after that. But I'm definitely coming back to this game. Yeah, I am dedicated to finishing Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So, if you're worried that I'm going to be giving it up, you can set that worry aside. Definitely not going to be giving it up. But I do want more time to devote to... Sonic Frontiers, and maybe one or two other titles. So yeah, I'm going to go along with the main quest here. Oh dear. It's foggy. That means the level 80 monsters are going to be out, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah, they're out alright. Oh yeah, there's one of those big flying squids. <sighs> well, this is inconvenient. Huh. All right, well. Now that I think about it, I want to make sure I have enough dessert items. There's no dessert shop at Gourmont. I'm thinking of Argentum. I want to make sure I have enough dessert items for my pouches. So let's do a quick uh, shopping spree. I certainly have the money for it. Whew. Let's rest the spell. Let's get going. And oh, we're actually looking pretty good here. go around anyway, make sure we have everything. And let's see, where's the dessert shop? It's kind of sort of halfway between the playhouse and the front gate, I think. Keep a close eye out for trouble. Where do we go from here? Okay. There it is. Sprincy Sweets. Okay. Lots of custard. Kevinich, Kadeg Gate. Phew. That was a slog. 
Let us go. And yeah, these are getting a bit low. And now let's see. Indol does not have a dessert shop. Tantal has a dessert shop. Let's rest the spell. The Let's get going. Shop should be down there. Huh. Boy, the camera acts weird next to this shop. items really quickly. Oh, Mora doesn't have anything. Okay. I better fix that. And 0.3 on each of these, so 0.6 total. That's perfectly adequate. Tora got nothing. Ooh, okay. I don't want Zeke to be using desserts if he's not in the active party. See if anyone likes fish. Nope, not particularly. Okay. Did that fix the weather? Looks like maybe it did. Okay, we can skip travel within the Titan, and that won't change the weather. So let's check out Theoswar rear gate and see what the conditions are. We've arrived. Yeah. Where do we go okay. from here? We're good. It's not the foggy condition, it's just the snowy condition. So the level 80 monsters are gone. Thank goodness. open the skip travel menu. I wanted to open the character menu. I want to take a look at Finch's affinity chart. Okay. He is, or she, rather, Finch is a she. She is at the very start. Finch likes vegetables. And cosmetics, eh? Okay. Well then. Morag. Your pouch is currently empty. We ought to have some... Mm. Suddenly I'm not too sure about this. I have to use it once Finch has gained the trust... Finch likes cosmetics and veggies. Okay, let's just start spamming. Let's just start spamming these items. Uh, Lucky Dawn Bread. This is Arts Recharge. 
I forgot about that. Yeah, this one's arms recharge. Huh. Okay, Finch, how are you doing for trust so far? We're above 50, okay. Doing good. And once I get level 2 unlocked, I can give Finch 4 veggies and 2 cosmetics, which will unlock these two nodes and also give Finch a bit more trust. Alright, let's carry on. How you doing? There we go, level two. So far so good. Alright, this will make Finch a bit uh, more versatile. your finches around for driver combos and just have her use her abilities you know what I'm actually gonna put Finch at the front so that Morag uses her by default choice good sir I'm glad you agree so anyway veggies she wants four veggies and two cosmetics good choice I happen to be quite fond of these hey thanks uh, a even bunch. More I like veggies okay you know, I've been kind of vaguely wondering for a while now what Morag's other liked type was. No, not that. Darn it. I keep carelessly forgetting. Good choice. I happen to be quite fond of these. Hey, thanks a bunch. Good choice. I happen to be quite fond of these. Hey, thanks a bunch. Good choice. I happen to be quite fond of these. Hey, thanks a bunch! Alright. That should do it for the one ability. There we go. Oh wait, not yet. There we go. Whoopsie crazy. Oh yeah, this was a thing. Alrighty. This is looking pretty good so far. And now... Eh, what should I use? I guess the two up top. God, I like these. This is quite a boon. Bridget likes them too. Oh yeah, I forgot I like these. This is quite a boon. Did I do that? <laughs> well, Finch, if you did, you'll never remember. A percentage chance to not deplete the recharge after a driver art or special. Huh. 
Okay, the chance only goes up to 20%. Not the greatest. Alright, we're moving we're moving right along. Okay, and also, I'm going to put Nia out front. Because it's a lot easier for her to lose aggro and for Morag to take it. And I like to have Mo either... You know, when Rex is in the lead, he just grabs aggro and never lets it go. Okay, now Morak has the aggro. Rolling Much appreciated. Kaboom. Richard, there. Let me do it. 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 Let me I don't think we got to max affinity there, though, so Finch probably didn't get any trust from that. Yeah. Wow. Four driver combos just from that one battle. That's pretty amazing. Well then, let's uh, get in another scrap, <laughs> shall we? Quick! Will we have the advantage? Stay true to your discipline. Break! We seem to be rolling smash. Just what I was. A zombie finally called. Oh, Rex, he got knocked over. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we got max affinity. The gold thread was up, so that means Finch probably got a bit of trust there. I hope so, at least. <laughs> yeah, Finch got a little bit of trust there. That's good. Okay, we've evaded a few attacks. Morag is pretty good at evading attacks. She has high agility. Use a blade art. Okay, Finch has already done that a couple times too. So yeah, we're well on our way. And... Oh yeah, I left that in the pouch. Well, let's see. Finch likes this, so let's go ahead and give it to her. Good choice. I happen to be quite fond of these. Hey, thanks a bunch. All right, and then what would be a good dessert to stick in there? Um, hmm. Actually, now that I think about it, a good one might be this. No one else is using it right now. OK. 
Okay. Finch is above 200. Yeah, it's going to be a little while to get up to level 3, which is unfortunate. But hey, with Finch out front like this, she's getting some much needed s starting experience. I'm not even looking at them, to be honest. I like your attitude. Battle top, ready for attack. Top of them. Fish the fuck with this. Why not? We see you doing just fine. See you. A zombie! They finally come! Jeff, what's on top? Make great stuff between me and me! Let me hear it! Okay, watch oh, this! Oh, oh, no, you don't! Don't be a trick! Indeed. I feel like I want to tangle with one of those guys up there. <clears throat> not for any particular reason, just... Why not, huh? Get down here. Come on. I'm pushing the lure button, but it's not working. Why are you not luring them? This will only take a second. I will show no mercy. Even ah. to the likes of you. Healing Halo! Oh, that's not working. Oh, well. Oh, is there anything else? Okay, there's something. This will only take a second. I like your attitude. Break! No 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 being Let me do it. Nothing. I've been waiting for this all day. Let me do it. 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 Let me not to toast, but that was spectacular. Right, Grumps? Remember, Rex, pride comes before a fall. Okay. Rick! Rolling smash! Rolling smash! Rolling smash! Rolling smash! Rolling smash! Rolling smash! Rolling the enemy's element is loud and fire. Okay, watch this. Oh my god. Oh, 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 this is what I'm You have my thanks. Ooh, how about an actual challenge next time? That's the spirit, everyone. Okay, and Finch got a few more things. That's good, that's good. I had the coolest idea. Yeah, trust is sure. Taking a while to build up, though. I'm tempted to just pop another love source. But under the circumstances, that would be a bit of a waste. I don't believe I have any other rare blades who would need that much trust. Corvin's definitely completely opened up. Oh wow, look at that. Huh. Just the one node left and he's completely done. And then Bridget has level 5 opened up too. And I'm pretty sure so does Cassandra. I wish I could share my luck with everyone. Yep, she's all the way up to level five. And so is Newt, isn't she? Leave it to me. Yep. And... Hello there. 
Uh, Gian also. Hmm. And Electra, yeah, definitely. Let's sock it to him. Yeah, there's literally no one else engaged to Morag. Except possibly for common blades. You know, that makes me think. What about some of the blades with salvaging mastery? I really wish I could see their um, affinity charts without having to engage them. Any of these common blades who have up to level 3 salvaging mastery would definitely be worth a look. Let's see, anyone connected to Morag? Okay, this guy can get level 3. And he already has his level 5 key affinity unlocked. So there's no point giving him any trust building items. Let's see. Uh, she can only go up to level 2 in salvaging mastery. And he, again, only level two. And Sengar here, level two. Hmm. Only level one, wow. That's not very good at all. Oh, she can go up to level 3, but then she doesn't need any trust items. Cook here. Oh, now this looks good. Cook here can go all the way up to level 3 Salvaging Mastery and hasn't opened any more of the affinity chart yet. Okay, that would be worth it, I think. Salvaging mastery. So it was this fella. Let's prove our new powers. Okay. Running really low on these. Okay, got finished to level 3. And Kukir should get all the way up to level 5 from that. And let's put this back in so that I don't continue using the love source. Close to level four. Close enough that I can just let it go naturally. I've remembered what I can do. This guy wants to collect vegetables and then acquire items through salvaging. <laughs> vegetables, really.
<sighs> it doesn't make any sense. You'd think that they would have at least tried to make it have some sense to it. But no. They just made it randomized for what the common blades require. At least level 3 salvaging kind of makes sense. Well. First of all, I'm going to lock him down so that I can't accidentally uh, dismiss him. And then... Back to business. Okay, where are we off to? Okay, I think I've been fooling around with this long enough. Okay, get through all these messages, please. Come on. Okay, there we go. Right. It is time to face the music, as it were. We've arrived. Oh, uh, where was this again? Have we been here before? Uh, Finch, you haven't been here before, but we've been here several times. <laughs> but with all of our fooling around. Down and down we go. And where we stop, I certainly know. Is this place a battleground from the Aegis War? There are many things here. I remember the walls and floors are melted. Must have been a hell of a battle. Ophion isn't the only artifice. You've already seen one other, Siren, the one Mithra commands. But during the war, there were countless artifices, wielded by Malos. Hmm. So, it's a site of a fight against him. Say, what are these artifices anyway? We've only actually met Ophion. We've never even seen Sidon, just that light thing it shoots down. They're a power granted to the Aegises. Divine swords sleeping in Elysium, far above us all. Hold on, I thought Elysium was a paradise, not a scary weapon stash. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? All that I can find in the corners of my memory is that townscape. I don't know why Father created me, or created the artifices. That's what I want to find out. Pyra. It's okay. We'll find out once we get there. I don't think... Open a chest, it might turn out great. But until then, it's just a crate. That's rule four of the Salvager's Code. Ha <laughs> ha! Rex. Comparing Elysium to dirty old sea junk? Well, you never know. He might be on the nose there. Alright, Gogol, you're in our way. Just 
do what we always do. Not everyone Run! has your Run! enemy. Run! 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 Just keep an eye on the enemy. Quick and There's so much match over. Ready to yeah. attack. I've got it well in okay. hand. Okay, watch this. Ray of punishment. I shall crown you with my power. Blade cover. Third step force. Miss Rose oh, getting tired of sure. All right. The main reason I wanted to continue fighting was to build up the party gauge for revivals and chain attacks. I'm not even looking at them to be honest. Let's keep our heads in the so far so good. Finch keeps on leveling up too. That's also good. I had the coolest idea. Hmm. Haven't used her level three yet. I might have the chance to do that shortly. Acquire insects. Head for Dawnview Gro. Oh, I can do that right now. You know what? S quick skip travel to get that done. I'm pretty sure it's a skip travel point. Upper level right. Yep, there it is. Phew. That was a slog. Aha. Let us go. Reaching new heights. Head Literally, heights. considering that this is your leaping field skill. <laughs> Pretty place. Have I been here before? Not in this life, at least. Maybe in one of your previous incarnations. Uh, I'm tempted to go view that heart to heart. But I'm getting distracted enough as it is. Leave it to me. Maybe agriculture is Poppy's specialist field. Leave it to me. In my experience, I know quite a huh. bit. Oh, there's a few insects, too. Finch wants those. exactly where Finch's heart to heart is but if I can find it and where you it'd be an that easy source of trust in addition to opening that node
drawbridge controls. It would probably work with the key. Do I not have the key yet? Apparently I don't. Hmm. Ah, blast it. Something tells me I need that key. I wonder where it is. Dromark, get up there, please. That was weird. Right, where's the control key? Control console key. I just say <laughs> see. these Titan weapons are sure obscuring the space in here. Ah, uh, what's that? Okay. I was wondering if maybe there was a key down here. What with all the nooks and crannies in this place. Down here in the hangar. Let's see if this is the correct key. <laughs> yes. And then let's open this door. There we go. Just a dead end. Okay. So. That must be it right there. The port and balcony. Some fellas having a smoke break. A treasure trove and a heart to heart. I hope it is something good. Common core crystal and a fair amount of money. No, you're not. You're speaking quite well. I never saw you like this before. Not in my whole life. It gladdens me to see you so enthused. The view is breathtaking indeed. Really, Finch? But you've seen all kinds of vistas without reacting like this. Huh? Really? Uh, maybe, but this one's just so crazy awesome! Are you sure you're not That's called projection, Finch. <gasps> That's the cool thing about all this adventuring business. Coming across stuff like this! I just want to keep doing it. I just want to see everything. Discover and the great part about uh, having a bad memory is that you can forget it and then discover it again. Sometimes that's not such a great thing about having a bad memory, but... Uh, it sounds like Finch is taking it in stride. 
Huh. Man, I should have saved beforehand so I could see both of these. Yeah. What would you like to see next, Finch? What would you like to see next? Hmm. I really want to see somewhere snowy. Snowy, you say? Yep. I've never seen snow in real life before. I can just imagine it. Everything all white, like a great big wedding cake. But didn't we see rather a lot of snow in Tanto? We were only just there. <laughs> we were only just there. Until I got distracted with this business. Uh, uh, Donald? It, it had snow? Seriously? Oh, wait, wait, don't tell me. Um, did, like, all you guys go on the sly and leave out old Finch here? That was pretty lame of you jerks. Finch, we never leave a man behind. Could Dromark be mistaken? Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, well, perhaps I am mistaken. Think of it that way, if it makes you feel better. <laughs> you guys! I knew you wouldn't have stabbed me in the back like that. And for the record, if you're going off somewhere, don't forget to tell old Finch about it. But anyhow, let's hurry on to the next great discovery! I can't wait! Everyone good to go? Very much so. Let us venture forth. <laughs> Uh, um, oh, oh, that box. Yeah, look, look at get a load of that scenery. Never seen <laughs> that before. Yep, she forgot right away. Oh, hey, can't you see that killer <laughs> you, bro? <Mark>? Bro, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, th this is going to be uh, the last episode before a brief hiatus, but definitely not giving up on this game. <laughs> definitely coming back to it. <laughs> Bro Mark. <laughs> what did you forget already? Forget? Forget what? <laughs> Every platoon needs someone like you, Finch. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> You're all weird. Bro, Mark. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah. Got her up to level four. Maybe years. in one or two seconds. Question mark, question mark, question mark, huh? Okay. Hmm. And so this will be Finch's Blade Quest, which we're not going to do until after the hiatus, but we'll get to it. Don't worry about that. What do I have to do here? Use blade arts. Okay. Alright. Well, let's get back to the actual matter at hand. Um. Ah, there we go. Memorial Ruins. Bro Mark. <laughs> Let's rest the spell. Let's get going. Quick! Will we have the advantage? Not everyone has your own. Oh, I should have had more IP wins. Why not? Avoid the top! Rolling smash! Aqua top! For sure! Azoria finally calm! Jet Make it Yeah! Decisive blow! Oh my god! 
Do it. Yeah, level three. Let us make use of it now. Blade combo. Wow. That was an easy one. Just the single button press. Oh well. Oh, that kind of startled me a little bit. Well, let's punish them for that. This will only take a second. Let's keep our heads in the game. Great. Battle talk. Ready to attack. We get our heads on the line. Sure. Let's try to get us away from the enemy. Just let me know if you need assistance. A zombie. This is what happens when you get in a way. My boy, it's not my fault if you fall out during battle, yeah? Doesn't ring a bell, got upgraded. And also, whoopsie crazy. Alright. Still need to use her level 3 a bunch. Ah, and she wants to defeat something in Leptheria. Well, that's not for now. Not everyone has your Okay, watch this. Ray of punishment. Harvest. Let me out. Why not? Are you ready? Got it. Don't get back. I'm really straight. Yeah. I got it. We need it tonight. Jet Hey, Nia. I just found the shiniest trinket. You want to see? Hey, Nia? Yeah, yeah, I'll check it out, Victor. You're such a child sometimes. Rolling smash! Ready! 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 So I'm getting the party gauge up pretty well, that's good. I'm not even looking at them to be honest. Do not underestimate Three. them. Make haste and retreat. Got it. One big rolling smash. For sure. A zombie. Yes. Ah. Pucky block. Well, thank you, Finch. Strong smash! I think we can get a good hit in. Phew! I'm not good. Can I ride on you for a while, Joe Mac? Of course, my lady. That is what I am here for. 
Alrighty. Finch. I've got your back. No, nope, really, I did. Yeah, you did a pretty good job of it. Blade arts. And blade combos, okay. Oh yeah. This one was the evade and attack requirement. Which, like I said, Morag is really good at. So she's already got it all the way up to level 4. That's pretty impressive. Okay. Did something else just pop up? Ah, there we go. This thing just popped up. I'm not even looking at them, to be honest. I like your attitude. Yeah! Run! Strong smash! Mia always looks so happy riding on Dromark's back. You think? His foo can be a bit bristly sometimes. Chafing's a real problem. Hmm. I thought I had been grooming adequately. I don't know where to put my <laughs> face. Okay, Gogol. Quick! Will we have the advantage? Let's I guess both of the goals. Watch out the Okay, level three. My boy, it's not my fault if you fall out during battle, yeah? Treasure trove, aha. I wonder what we will find. Money and Earth Defense up three. Is there anything else I missed? Oh, there's a collection point over there. It's worth checking out at least. This is an area where I excel. Sniff them out. Sniff them good. That was useful. Got a bunch of insects for her entomology ability. How are we doing on that? Eh, not quite halfway there. I'm not going to grind for it. Not now, at least. Alright, we're just about to the end. But oh, it looks like there's some obstructions on the way. This will only take a second. I like your attitude. Great! Battle talk! Yeah! Oh, Why not? Halo! Yeah! Let me do it! Okay, but I am sure. an enemy. Indeed. Ow! Ah. So, so we have a little bit of 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 a little bit of
It's like we're in food for sake. Take him out. Much appreciated. Smack. Got it. One big one coming up. I've been waiting for you to see that. There's the other one, kind of wandered away from us. This will only take a second. Let's keep our heads in the game. Let me do it. Halo. Ha! Feast upon this. Battle top. Surrounding smash. Okay. Show me. This element is now ice. And hit! Oh, this is what we need to do! Just give me your sake! You've come a long way, Rex. Azurda has raised you well. Rex has always had the makings. I just pushed him <laughs> a little. Alright. Before we continue any further from here... First of all, I want to bring Bridget back out to the front. I will do my best to prove and my worth. Then word. put Rex in charge of the party. Do I want to keep a zombie? Hmm. I have a lot of trouble controlling Rex's ether cannon set. I guess that means I need practice. This really isn't the best time to get practice for stuff like that, though. Well, no matter. I'll make it work. Here we are. A new locale. Genbu's crown. It took a long time to get here. My prince, look over there. Would you look at that? I guess we've arrived. Whoa, it looks way older than the palace. Yes, it seems untouched by the ravages of time. Good thing, too, because we took a lot of time to get here. That's it. Looks like a core crystal. Is that the Omega Feta? Yes. That's Ophian's control core. It was originally a conduit that I used to communicate with Ophion. We have to hurry. Yes, you're right. There is no way we could have gotten here in three game hours. It's simply not possible. So you might as well take as much mm -hmm. time as you want, huh? Well, can you fix it? Shut up. I'm sorry. Well, that seems to have done it. Hmm. Mithra? Whoa. 
In that case... Convince Genbu to go back up. Are we... rising? All right, Prince. I've told Genbu to resume circling the Cloud Sea once he's done rising. Nice. Looks like we Somehow. made it after all. <laughs> oh, great news! Oh, Tora was not look forward to becoming flat as Argenta monkfish. A job well done, eh? Hey, Rex. You can remove that thing now. Really? <laughs> That's a wrinkle I didn't remember. Don't they still need it to control Genbu? So it was hidden all the way out here. What? No wonder we couldn't find it. I'd just been wondering whether it was time to make an exit. Thanks for saving me the trouble. Lovely to see that tedious woman isn't here to get in our way this time. Care to join me? In a dance of death, Nia? I think I just threw up in my mouth a bit. Mean little girl. You've come for the feta, haven't you? Perceptive, kid. Condescending much? It's not like there's anything else here. You are so mean. Now, hand it over nicely would be the classic line, but no. I'm not letting you escape with your lives. For Jin's sake. Where are Jin and Malos anyway? There are a few things I need to ask them. Frankly, I don't think they've got much interest in what you have to say. Sure about that? Quite sure, yes. Not to interrupt the verbal sparring, but how do you plan on doing anything without your blades? We're no pushovers, you know. Oh, we're quite aware of that. We just don't need them. You see? Explain yourself. Yeah. Crystals. They're blades. Worse, flesh eaters. Bravo. Very good. We've had many an interruption in the past, but here that seems less likely. So let's go all out. You can try, but I assure you, we won't go down easy. I wouldn't have it okay. any other way. Like I said, all out. Three against three. Okay, time to take you Great. down. I'll let you know if you start so to back. Oh, 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 you oh, 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 Okay. Why are you not attacking? Oh. This guy did a talk. Let me show you things. That's not what I wanted to do. Indeed. 
choice but to fight the door. I'm hit! It looks like a healing sister! I got a What? I got a No effect! Don't try too hard! Smack! We're gonna need to get a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of I have the wish. Just give me Okay, we're Alright. All that's left is this guy. Endless night. Rolling smash. Sword back. Oh, you go. You uh, Let me hit it. No. Is the combat? Ready to go. 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 Rolling smash! Endless night! I shall defend you to the last one. That's getting it irritating. Anchor shot! Make haste and go! Battle lightning! Battle! Why not? I spread a good word! Rolling smash! Endless night! Anchor shot! Yeah! I thought my predictions were perfect. Actually, got a launch. Inconceivable! How could we? <sighs> These <laughs> rats! Warned you, didn't we? You mess with Thunderbolt Zeke, that's what you get. You brought Besides, this we're on kind of yourselves. overleveled. Uh, anyway, this has gone on long enough. Nighty night, chaps. Very much looking forward to interrogating you later. Here I go! Bring her up, Cap! Jim? Where did he...? Seems they don't call you Thunderbolt for nothing. That's the first time I've ever missed a vital point. You bastard! Prince! Don't worry yourself. It's just a scratch, really. Jim? Are you okay? Relax, he's not made of glass. Malos? Don't mind me, I'm just a spectator. He, on the other hand, insisted on coming here to settle a score. Jin did. Correct. You will give me both the Omega Fetter and the Aegis. You just try and take them. I know you're strong. But, there's no way we're giving you Pyra or Mithra! You have power, boy. But words do little. If you know what you desire, you will have to show it. Not with words, but with your own strength! This is a JRPG, all right. Is that 
Jin's true form. What enormous energy. There's no change to ether energy of surroundings. That energy being emitted from interior of body. Just like our Pyra then. Where did he even keep all that energy? How about all that rage energy? He's got all pent up inside. No, that's not it. It's... Watch out! Here he comes! All right then. Look at me! What you say, Behold Prince? my will! Then Just my watch this. power! Quiet! Break. Empty moment! Why not? Kill it! Ultra Slash! It won't be done! Register! Oh, 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 Heavenly destruction! Pay attention to the Lord Gentile! Reflect the wine here! It isn't over yet, my boy! Oh, it won't be done! Back to me! Okay. Wow, that actually went faster than I expected. With wounds like that, they're done for. It's their biggest weakness. Your struggle is pointless. My power gives me control over all elementary particles. Party? What? Huh. This allows me to accelerate my body to the speed of light. No matter how far ahead you can predict, your movements themselves are limited. You are no match for me. Mitra! I'm still here. Rex, we have to slow him down. Match light speed with light speed. Isn't that like speeding yourselves up rather than slowing him down? Okay. Here we go. but a stream of particle energy. The particles that form it are too heavy to truly reach light speed. The result is obvious. Oh, no. Mithra's attack didn't... Jin. It's over, boy. Uh. Eat this! Of course. That's why you were at Banner's factory. You won't win so easily! <laughs> Lady Morag! Whoa. You're quite a looker. 
from up close. Killing you will be such a waste. Let me go! You're a pig! S stop it! Ah! I'm surprised you're still breathing. Relax. You'll be able to rest after I've pried that core crystal from your chest. I won't die here. I have to reach Elysium. I have to find the answers we're all looking for. <laughs> what answers? In this world, there are no answers. Ah! Uh, enough! I'm the one you want. Isn't that right? Leave them out of this. Oh, look. What a touching scene. Are you going to beg for their lives? No mockery, Mick. This is serious business. Put the sword away, Jin. If not, I'll... You'll do what, exactly? I will... ...annihilate myself. What? You need me alive, don't you, Melos? <laughs> you worked that much out, did you? Well done. But how would you make good on that threat? You don't have that kind of... Are you so sure about that? This is a shock. I didn't think you had it in you. What's going on? She's controlling Mithra's artifice herself. She's controlling Siren through sheer... willpower? Go ahead. I'll deflect it with my powers. Just like before. You could do that. If I use the particle cannon itself. But this... is the targeting ray. It moves at the... speed of light. And if I... turn up the output just a little... That light alone has enough power to annihilate a single blade. You. One signal from me, and my body will be scoured from this world. Faster than you can blink. So, Jin? How unexpected. That you and Aegis would say something like that. So you'll do it. Open the gates to Elysium for us. Yes. If that is your wish. Don't, Hyra! They'll just... Uh! Jin? I'm really sorry, Rex. Hyra. But why?
Look at the state of you. <laughs> you hadn't even noticed. Your own blade has been wounded so deeply, and all you can think of is yourself. Ah! Uh... You awakened the Aegis. I thought you might have been different. But you're just... a fool. Uh... A pitiful, childish... fool. Uh... Byra! Byra! That's chapter six. Viewers, thank you very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. As I said earlier, it's going on hiatus for a little while, but we'll definitely be coming back to this. In the next episode, whenever it starts in an, I don't know, maybe a month or two, we'll get started on chapter seven. And I'll see you then.